Hello and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Are you cold? I am really cold. Yeah. It's been cold in the office today. No I see that you're wearing that. short sleeves. You must be frozen. No, I'm pretty good. Frosty. Yeah. I'm just bringing the energy. Which, bringing the energy in, okay. All yeah, right. but we'll have to spin the wheel to find out what kind. What kind of, okay, yeah, so we're about to find out whether or not it's warm energy or extremely cold energy. What would you associate as the coldest? I guess water. water. I know, but then there's like star you, and that seems like like Fiji. For yeah, sure. but that's also like ice type. So yeah, I guess that's true. I yeah, mean, like kind of, you know, water can be warm or cold, yeah, as they right. say. Yeah, right. You know. Okay. Right. Well. Roll the intro. <laughs> As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! I'll maybe, it'll be, maybe it'll be Fireball. Come maybe on, it'll fireball. be Fireball. Water is going to be the one that gets us the most points. Alright, that's true. That's true. Could today be the day when we get water? We're about to find out when the wheel stops spinning. And it's yeah. about oh, to be it was, that! Oh, oh! It's dark! I want to say there's actually quite a bit of dark Pokemon in this one as well. Almost. Water. Soon to be going back to Umbreon back here. There Everyone's we go. Okay, okay, okay. Most okay, okay, favorite. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm never upset evolution. about Umbreon. I can live with Umbreon. I don't like the whole, I don't like having to move the skateboards, mostly because I was the one who affixed the board that holds the skateboards to the wall, and I am not certain that it is securely mounted, and one of these days, it's, they're just gonna all come crashing down, and ah, it's they're gonna catch my failure right on camera. Anyway, you wanna tell them about the randomly chosen common chase cards while I crack this bad boy open? Oh. I sure do, Ben. Uh, today we are going to have Swablu, Spinda, and Gorgeist, which are randomly chosen common chase cards that actually favor our last place contenders because two of them are colorless. Actually, this doesn't make any difference at all. I'm sorry. Don't know what I was going for there. Well, the, it couldn't be. You couldn't get two points for it. You but couldn't you would get no two matter points, what, but yeah. no matter what, you'll get the extra points. I, so, I follow where, what you think you were going for, but I yeah. can see also where you went astray. So it's so. actually it actually does not favor high scoring points because. Um, they won't get you that extra type advantage point. Right, right, yeah. exactly, exactly. Unless it's the Gore guy. No, even the Gore guy doesn't matter because it's not psychic. I'm gonna stop talking now. We're gonna start opening packs. There we go, why don't we? Here we go. As per the intro, I guess I'm bringing dark energy to the episode. Oh, there we go. Next up, first up is Kevin. 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 Kevin's got three points. Ooh. Three points for old Kev. He's a game developer. So no, cool. they work in black. Electrical type. We got the Pan Sage, the Man type. Man, oh, look at this. Last, last week, week it would have yeah. been would've multiplier. Been great. Yeah, I oh, know the Gabite, the Minan. Look at this. The Veluza, the Chantal, the Garboder will score. The Zatu will we'll also, also score. score. The Wimpod will not score, and the Zation will. will. So three points for Kevin for six on the season thus far. Off to a nice start here. Now, last episode we saw the power of a base Roaring Moon. The question is, can we pull? a more valuable Roaring Moon this time around. And really skyrocket up there. Next up we've got Leroy, who Leroy. came in with four points. Oh man, their first deck ever was a Machamp from base set, boy. And their second was Palkia Beastar, so wow, that's a little, quite a, little, a gap. Just, just a little bit of space there. Quite a gap there, one significantly more powerful than the other. There we go, there's a Rockus Pummeling for your Machamp, the Dwebble, the Whimsor, the Dublade, the Minior, the Mela, the Dondozo, the Larry, the Nicket, and the Deoxy. Oh, the oh I'm sorry, score. the Nicket will go. score. I'm not used to the dark energy. I'm sorry. Catch it up, I'm sorry. Nicket. Here we go, it's gonna be two points for Leroy for six on the season. Leroy got a Larry, how about that? There it is. How exciting for Leroy, Leroy and Larry. Hope you enjoy Mr. Jenkins, have a great rest of your day. There you go. All right, next up, Ben, we have got Alex. And let's see what they can do today. All right, Alex. 
Crafty the pack here. They are a major Cubone fan. Major Cubone fan. Major Cubone fan. I don't think there is a Cubone in the set, sadly. All right, let's and see. There's here. the eyeball energy. Got the eyeball, the vanilla light, the char cadet, the swan blue. Yep, there yep. we go. The pants here, the technical machine, the wug trio. Nope. Yeah, okay, we're good. The techno radar, the ore beetle will not score. Oh, oh the iron jugulus! Look at that! Now that is cool. That's an awesome card. That's so dark. Okay, there we go. Then the spot to close out. So number two sixteen on the Let's set. Go ahead and grab that sleeve for it. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, man, love that artwork. If nothing else, really cool. I wish this card was a little bit better competitively. That's too bad. Five dollars <laughs> five cents on that one. So six plus the Spathra is seven. There we go. Yes. Oh, and the Swablu. And the Swablu, okay, so, so eight, 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 okay, eight there we points go. Yep. on the pack there for Alex, well done. Go ahead and write that down. I got so excited by the card, I forgot to do math. I know, yeah, it's like, what were you doing while I was looking stuff up? So Alex is at 22 points on the season. Okay, so okay. Just, they've, almost, they've passed the big Steve mark, unfortunately. Just by a little bit, but, but other people may still be liable to also miss it. That's so, true. I mean, it's, it's not like completely Not completely out, point. and 22. Let's see here. So, so 30 points also right now is where quality eighth place oh, is. Oh, is it? Man, so a lot it's of like, people you know, are up there. I, didn't I know realize. they are. They are. Yep. Okay. Well, next up we have Elizabeth, who is at uh, eight points right <coughs> now. Excuse me. Jeez, bringing really the dark energy. I know. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Got the, got the black lung in there. Got the black lung. Oh. All right. Here we go. Elizabeth gets the fire energy. Warming Boom me up sweet. a little bit. Phoebus, Apom, Galvantula, Cyclozar, Simiseer, Rourke, Dwebble, Wiglet, and Iron Moth. Man, so just a single point a single for Elizabeth. Point, unfortunately, with, yeah, not going after for eight on the first pack, you know? know. So it's like we're looking for somebody to do a single point. Like that's not a terrible score to have in the scheme of the game, um, but just not when you had eight points already. Yeah, exactly. So only nine points now for Elizabeth. Moving on, we have got Chris Sara, who probably has blades for hands, according almost. to our fun facts here. Yeah, probably almost certainly. Yeah. So uh, let's see, maybe we can get some bladed Pokemon for you. I, mean, I think right off the top, maybe we okay. did. There we go, yes indeed. So Here we, we go, Dew Blade! The wow, blade, the, the Mil Tank, the Wimpod, the Flussel, the Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Iron Bundle, the Scream Tail, the Wimpod. Oh. Is it a... Uh, is it? The, it it is, is. It's a critical hit. hit. With the Wimpod the and the Chim Pow and, and the Glycopod. Wow. So unfortunately, still just going to be, what, four points? Four points. Two times yes, two indeed. is four two points. Two times two is four. Yep, there That's we go. Going to for being Krasara. Krasara. The blade-handed Krasara takes home four points on the day with the critical hit Wimpod. Not too bad. And uh, scored with the Glycopod. So got the whole uh, evolution line in there. Get yourself a nice little play set. Very nice. Next up, Ben, it is Emerald Phoenix. Oh man, who also has one point coming into yes, the day. Yes, our okay. first last place contender of the day. All Can right, Emerald. Emerald get a single point? He has done it on two other occasions. One of those occasions was in the last episode. Otherwise, Emerald is like a, a big time three point pack person. Okay, okay, so let's, let's see what Emerald see. can do. Water energy, we want no dark types. We want nothing oh, big. Loser. Last. Looking good place. so far. Looking good Iron so far. Oh no. Oh. Now we're going to get two points because there's the Iron the Moth, which will score the Flittle and the Lo Chien. No! It's two points. It's oh, two no. points for it's Emerald. Like, how does it happen every, every time? time. Uh, I just want to see it so bad. And I then know. it's going to have to happen again, which feels I know. less likely. Well, there you go. Wayne especially because if only one person gets there, then you're really hoping for that one person to get the third point. But if they don't, then the competition's like wide open again. I know, yeah, then then everything's just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, next up we've got Tina Dodge. Tina Dodge. Tina Dodge, who is not looking for one point. She has got 10 right now. So can she score big here? Okay, so like eight would be a strong one. It would be good. Like, We're like yeah. up in like the 30 range would yeah, be great. Absolutely, not the worst at all. So we got the nope. we got the water energy, the wiglet, the Gligar, the Blipbug, the Fue Coco, the Steeny, the Counter Catcher, the Absol. Absol there you go, good save. The Ting Lu will score. The Charcadet will not. And the and Armor Rouge, Rouge! Which looks like Bulky X on the first page here, but let's just double check sure for safety. Does. 96 cents. Wow, almost. bad rounding. Bad rounding. So just three points on that one there for Tina Doge. Up to 13, so hoping for a seven point pack next time around for the Big Steve landing. 
Let's see, what else have we got here? Lauren B, the Battle of the Bo or the Laurens, rages on with Lauren B from The Bachelor. She has three points right yeah. now. The, just, just simply Lauren uh, currently is in the, the, the lead of the Lauren pack with six points overall. Wow, can Lauren B take the lead? Let's about find out. out. Just need four points to Man, do it. Metal, the metal energy, energy no all right. There. The man tyke doesn't score. The hand sage mine and snore. The crowbat will, will do it. Yeah. When you're in the semi four tandem mouse, the magby, and, and the, the thief will score twice. Oh so three. man! So ties regular Lauren at six points for lead of the Laurens. Wow! 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 We wow! I can't believe that the Laurens as a group right now have I not know. cleared six points across two packs. Come on, guys! There's like four of you. <laughs> There's no award for being the leader of the Laurens either. It's just, you know, we you just, know you're the best Lauren. We personally just find it to be amazing. I know. But there are so many of you. <laughs> Next up is Megan. If you're if your name is Lauren and you're not playing, you know, consider signing up. Consider you can join the fray. Yeah, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Links in the description down below. The box breakers tier. It's a lot of fun. We send all the cards to the recipient. You know, so these even are, if your name's not Lauren, you can just lie about it. That's true. You, you can just, just join the battle and Lauren, we won't right? know. Yeah. How great is that? Yeah. All right, we got the Tandem Mouse, the Toad School, the Toxel, the Spinda. Oh, the Spinda scores. There we go, good save. I, I, I was like slowing I down. Know, the like, Curse Duster, the Ore Beetle, the Dottler will not score, the Parasol Lady will not score, and the e Evelto will score, score twice. twice. So three so, points there for Megan K. There we go, there we go. Five on the season. Well done to Megan. Evelto coming your way. Next up, we have Ethereal Squirrel, which always reminds me of the items in Diablo 2 that were ethereal and could ethereal, break. Ethereal, yeah, yeah. They, well, they, they couldn't be repaired they couldn't be more repaired. than anything. Yes. Yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah they, everything can everything break. Everything can break, unless Most, it's like the Grandfather Sword, which is indestructible by its very nature. Mm, so if you had like an Ethereal Grandfather Sword. It was like super powerful. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Or the, the ethereal, eth ethereal Breath of the Dying Zerker Axe. Whew, wow. That's oh, a good man. one. Man, if you guys want to hear me actually know what I'm talking about, let's do some D2. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh boy, <laughs> I would love to. Toad School, Vanilla, Charcadet, Technical Machine, Vanilla Lux, which we could not pull last week. Nope. Defiance Vest, the Flamigo, the Nimble, and the Chi Yu. So here okay. we go. A single point pack on a two point player. This is just absurd. Are you kidding me, guys? It just keeps happening in such a weird way. Yeah, it is weird. Anyway, there you go. One, 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 pack to one write home easily about point for, for Ethereal Squirrel. There you go. Next up is, oh gosh, uh, Jacob Worginess. Worginess. They have got four points. Four points. They love stargazing. Okay, there we go. So we got the got the fighting energy, got the snow rump, the honed edge, the horsey, the joltic, would have been good mm -hmm. last week, the masquerine, the ancient okay. the worthworm, the joltic oh, again, so we got the critical hit, hit if nothing else. The man shall will not score in the oh, port. <laughs> the port, no way! Come on! I mean, it doesn't it, matter because I already had four points, but the fact that the Porygon Z, the worst scoring card in the set, just got like upended by the Joltic of all things. The Joltic. They're like laughing at us I over know, there. I know, it's just absurd. It's like, That's it's so, so funny because uh, the Joltic is even one way I feel like we've spent a lot of time talking about. Yeah, we've been talking, we've been talking down on the Joltic. <laughs> and then it just, it just reared its ugly tiny little head. It did indeed. All right, indeed. next up we've got John Munyon, who has six points, so not the last place player. Let's see how they do. Huh. So far this box has left um, a lot to be desired, so I think there's more to come. See what we got here. Oh, and they get the dark teardrop, so they do have the multiplier on board. We've got the knackle stack, the plusle, the dotler, the toxel. Man, this would have been great last week. The Zubstrika, the Crocolore, the Ambipom, the Volcano will score. Oh, oh that the Luza. Luza. That's really cool. That is an awesome card. Man, and with followed by the Chen Pao. So we do have the multiplier on there. And let okay. me just double Let's check see. that there's no yeah critical hits. Nope. So let's see, what is that Veluza going to be worth? Let's see, the Veluza, $4.93, so okay. we're up to five. five. six, seven. So 14 point pack, which lands them at 20 points for the big Steve. Look at that. How about it? Booyah for John Munyon. I'm saying that name right. Yeah, Mooney Man is maybe no Reginald Mun Reginald Munyon. I got Reg it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got we're it right. I'm it sorry, out. we're, we're figuring it out. Yeah, there you go. You got the Valusa. You got 20 points on the board, looking great because 20 is not necessarily going to hold for Big Steve. You know, 
Right, like, yes, that, I know, of that, course, yeah. That, that will win it, but it could go to 21. It could, it could. Or 22. Or 22! You, you never know, you never know. Alright, next up we have Nixie Claw, who has got 24 points. So they're at a big seed. They're looking straight ahead at 8th place or the lead. There we go. Oh, and the multiplier. Here okay. we go, Nixie right. Claw. Let's do it. We got the Nimble, we got the Elekid, the Vanillish, the Onyx, the Cloth, the Luxurious Cape, the Cyclazar, the Vanillish again. Oh, we'll get it's a, oh, it's a four times multiplier, it's a four man. Four times multiplier. But, but can they hit something it. big? No, it's just the melodic. That's so unfortunate. Come on, a four Nixie times Claw. multiplier on one. No, it can't be. I'm like, there's got to be something else. I know. It's like, is there any? I mean, are we missing there's, something? No, no, is there Spinda, a swab blue? blue? No, no, it's guys. just the four on one. Oh, wow. Just four points. They, and because they were at 24 points. So, I know, yeah. So, like, like they really could have gone big. I know. It, I mean, just anything would have, would have, oh, man. I know. Okay. Even All a right. two point pack would have given you, you know, eight. That would have well, been that would have been something. Well, enjoy the most valuable melodic we've ever pulled on I this know, show. Before. Wow, we haven't yeah. seen the the double multiplier in a while, so it's a bummer that it doesn't go off a little harder. I know. Anyway, here we go with um, Josh, who's got three points on the season. God, I'm just hoping we get another four. I know, I know. It's like I mean, I, I haven't even been thinking about it. Now I'm I thinking know. about I was it. Like, wait a minute! I'll go check. Bam, all right, eyeball energy for the Swablu scores. There we go. Pants here, the Wiglet, the Gligar, the Durant Durant, the Wugtrio, the Boon Suite, the Kingdra, and the Low Kicks, which is gonna get oh, two points. The Kingdra will, uh, oh, you're yeah, right. so, yep, so one, two, three, four points. Four points for Josh. For Josh, well done, Josh. Bring them to seven, that's a, a more, I mean, see, like, even that, like, that's exactly the kind of pack that You want to see the Lorens pull Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had Nixiclaw just pulled a pack like this, instead, that would have been 16 points. I know, it would have been amazing. It would have been amazing. I mean, they're at 24. That would have put them at 40, you know? Like, gosh, Ugh. one pack. I mean, it's okay. It's so all right. That's all right. I'm, I'm it's, over there's it. always next time. There's always next time. We all got right. Collard Cow, Collard 41. Cow, fan favorite. Long time player here. I think I possibly, potentially, at one point in time, has pulled, in season six, three one-point packs in a row. Yes, so they they, they are proof that uh, the, the triple one can happen. It can happen. Anyone can do it. There we go. So we got the, got the Electric Energy. Got the Natu, the Remoraid, the Pumpkaboo, the Zubat will score, score yeah. the Professor, the Mian Shao, the Rika, the Knackly will not score, the Mantek will not score, and the Garnacle. Oh, wow, just two points there for Collard Cow this time around, bringing them to 12 Collard on the season. Collard Cow with a two point finish. There we go. All right, next up we've got Stacy, who says on a bad day, the Benjamin and Jonathan always make her feel better. Oh, oh Stacy. Glad to be of service, Stacy. All right, Stacey has seven points thus far on the season, so a pretty solid first pack. Yeah, not a bad, not, not a bad start at can, all. If we can jump ahead here, let's see. All right, no multiplier, but we do have the live hard there score. Yeah. Wimpod, Elicate, Tinkatuff, Snorlax, Tinkaton, Durant, Durant, Gimme Ghoul, Gligar, and the Kingdra. Oh. Nothing too crazy there, just, just two, two points. For Stacy, I swear, last week I would be so curious. I, I mean, this is—it would take way too much time for it to be worth anybody's bother. But I swear, we were seeing so many more dark types last week. I sw i know, I know. Like, like, last week, I was like, it's so odd because I think like there's only one dark type on our wheel of energy, and yeah. I was like, oh man, like you know, like that's, we get it. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, now we have Anselman. Anselman, okay. Three points right now. They're a longtime player in the game. I'm trying to see what they're. Best pull ever is it was back in season four with a 17 point pack. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna see a little more than that. All right, we got the salad energy, we got the Tinkatink, the Charcadet, the Flittle, the Trubbish will score, scores. the Simiseer, the Crobat, Crobat will score. Some dark Pokemon. The Techno Radar won't score. The Cloth Twelve. won't score. Oh, oh, there it is, Ben! The Roar I we said, could we pull a rare Roaring oh Moon? And gosh. we did. This is the next rarest one. This is the full art. Man, what a great card. Now, if I recall, just the base was worth like 19 points. Yeah, so this one, this is it's an upgrade. It's not as much as you might think. Really? Uh, 22, 19. So 23, 24, 25 points. Man, what a pack. Best pack of the day. Best pack of the day, 25 points. Man. That brings them to 28 on the season. Let's see. That's a really good spot for like eighth place, probably. Yes, that feels like a really, good really contention. strong contender for eighth place. Man. Which coming into the day was held by somebody with 24 point smubbles. And if nothing else, you got the Roaring Moon. So that's just a big victory for you right there. Absolutely. Congratulations well to Anselman. That's Very super exciting. Cool. 
Bam. Next up is Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, who's got three points as well. It's up to you, I believe. Okay, let's see. Bam. What is Ryan's best pack ever? Not, not, never had a really huge pack. It looks like seven is where they've topped out. Man, so let's see if we can get a little more than that. All right, let's see. We got the fire energy. We got the gimme goal. The purloin will scores. score. The mind foo. The pharaoh seed. Oh, the gorgai score. will score. I think it's our first one of the day. It is. Professor Seda's vitality. The tatsugiri. The only dragon type. The panseer will not score. The technical machine blindside won't score. And the more will, will score twice. twice. So it's four. So four for Ryan. There we go. Just another 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 day at the office for Ryan. There four points. Going to bring them up to seven total. Their best finish ever is thirteen points. So if we okay. can get okay. We above six in the next pack, you're, you're, you're golden. golden. Best season ever, right? All right, next up we have Shauna. Shauna. All right, Ben. Once more, we venture into last place territory okay. here. Okay. Can we do it? This Just is a single point. A mere nine cents mere total nine cents. rare card value Let's for Shauna. It. Here we go. Shauna has music playing almost constantly. I, the music is probably pretty dramatic just yet. All right, we've dodged the dark type energy. That's good. The blip bug. We want no dark type Pokemon, no double rares. The Haunt Edge. The Steamy, the Counter Catcher. Uh, could it be the. Oh, no, it's a critical hit. Is it really? It the is on the blip bug. bug and the on the Steel It would have been there if not for the blip bug. Are you kidding me? How measly. Oh, and 12 cents is all. Oh, you were looking Steelix. at a 12 cent Steelix. Instead. Instead, it's, it's a two point Steelix because of that blip bug. But Good these tiny miss. little Pokemon are tripping up our last placers I hard. I know, the blip of the Joltik. I thought we had it. I saw the green and I was like, we're in the, no. No, how could not it be? Not in the clear. Poor Shauna. Oh, Two man. points, man. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Next up is Abby. All right, Abby. Abby is coming in with eight points. All right, so not a last placer here. What do we got, what do we got? All right, let's see here. So we got metal the energy. Metal energy. That's right. We got the Gimme Ghoul, <coughs> the Wiglet, the Jirachi, the Knackly, the Minior, the Simipore, the Zibstrika, the Gorgeist will score, the Zacian will score, as the will the Palkia. Palkia. All right, so our final three cards all end up scoring. It's going to be three points on the season. There we go. Bringing For 11 to Abby. Nice. 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 11. A good number. All right. Oh, here we go, Ben. Will the Curse of the Mods uh, strike again with Data Rage? <clears throat> We've seen some of our mods, um, Doe and Mott, score big this season. We've seen other ones, Dakota and Emily, trip hard. So far, Data Rage has been in the tripping category with two points. Oh, just so two far. points. Just two points. But you know so let's, what? Let's see what Data can do. We know we know Data uh, pulled a, a, a whopping. Uh, I think it was a Lugia back yeah. in season three that completely destroyed. Oh, here oh, we, we go. go. Okay. Here goes All the right. Data. Right. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, she's off to a good start. Flittle, oh, Earthen Earth Vessel. Vessel. Wow, yeah, very solid. Amazing. Yeah, okay. the Steamy. The Wiglet, the Galvantula, and the Altar. Oh, it's another Dragon type, Ben. How about that? Okay, so there's at least go? two. There's at least two. Okay, so All let's right. see. Uh, let me double check the Altar. Yeah, with number 140 on the set. Yeah, Gotta be absolutely looks, certain. Looks bulk, but you never know. You never know. Yeah, 70 cents for the Altar. Yeah, so. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Times two. Eight, eight, eight pack. All right. Very middle of the road Not bad. for I mean, our mods. De decent position again, you know, for Big Steve. You never know if you can, if somebody can pull. A ten pointer. You never know. You never know. All right, next up is Kernak McClagan. <laughs> All right, Kernak. <laughs> the rival of skill. <laughs> yeah. Do we have that written on there? No. Okay, okay we should make it, it clear. We, we make it clear. Make That's it another clear. player in the game. So I want to. I think skill in the last episode was going for last place, and they ended up tripping. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because well, everyone's tripped. It's true. Nobody's nobody's been able to do it. Yeah. Right, so we got the got the Gible, the Pampor, the Blitzel, the Boon Sweet, the Dondozo, the Tulip, the Veluza, the Chi Yu will, will score, score the Wimser will not the, the Age of Slash, Slash will. will. So 135 on the set. Looks a little bulk, but let's double check. Let's see, number 135. 58 cents. 58 bummer. Okay, so it's gonna be a two-point pack for Kernak McClagan here. That's gonna be four total, but Age of Slash coming your way.
Um, next we have Blood Vamp, rival of Andriana, the uh, one point the, specialist. The one point wonder. The one point wonder. <laughs> I know. Who is currently sitting, if I recall, at 19 points and needs but a single point to land a big Steve. So she's set up perfectly. Um, but can Blood Vamp uh, strike? Can they do? But what do, what do I have two here? I don't know. You Why do I have two out. packs? Here we go. I already talked about Blood Vamp. Let's go! Let's go! Blood Vamp has six points. If she's trying to beat Andriana, then she's gonna have to get uh, up to 20 right now. Okay, okay. It'd be hilarious if Blood Vamp also ended at 19, which coincidentally is how many points she ended last season with. Metal Energy, the Joltek, <laughs> Blech, Natu, the, the Ramorant, Absol, Absol, Absol scores, scores yeah. Masquerade, the, the Gold Battle Hats, score, Wars Artillery, and Larry! Larry! Dude, this feels like it could get them exactly to 19, which would be so funny. Let's see. Full art, Larry. Let's see what you got, dude. All right, number 235 on the set. $3.15. We'll nope. round up to four. Four, five, six points, which is going to bring them to 12 on the season. All right, so on Andriana still sitting pretty at 19. There we go. There we the go. The one point wonder. All right, next up. Now we have Games Bun. Games Bun! The gamiest bun you ever did see. All right, his partner collects Pokemon cards, so uh, he joined to help them collect. Yay! Well, that's fun. There we go. All right, let's see. We got the Salad Energy for you there. You got the Parasol Lady, the Porygon 2, the Octillery, the Gold Gold will Score, the Crocolore, the Ambipom, the Snorlax Stall, the Flittle will not score, the Crobat Crobat will... will. Oh, for, yep. Oh, and, and the Iron, Iron Moth. Moth. There we go. So just three, yeah, right? Two, nothing two, crazy yeah, happening? Nothing, nothing yeah. wild there, yeah. All right, up to nine for Games Bun. There we go. Boy, oh boy. Zeroing in here. Just a few packs left where for people to get into that last place spot. And this Anna is uh, someone who could do it. Somewhat known as SCB fan on the Instagram here. Can Anna be the only person thus far to get another one point pack? Let's see. That will put her firmly at last. That would do it. That would do it. Let's see Let's here. See? Okay. It's the right kind of energy, but not the right top of the Ooh. Pokemon off the top. Not what you want to see. Unfortunately, too bad for Anna. Too, too bad, bad for, for Anna. Anna. Not going to hit oh, last the place. Absol. The Absol strikes too. The Swablu. Swablu. Wow, Anna did not come to play today. No. Unfortunately, I'm afraid doesn't aim for last place. I suppose that's true if you know her, but you know, in this game, last place is a winning move. So <laughs> is it? Yeah, this is this is like one of the small arenas where losing actually is winning. Losing is winning. The real loser is second to last place. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That, that is. All right. Now we have the blue Swede. The blue Swede. Okay, nailed it. Who was also sitting at one point. Okay. Okay. How how close was now? Now that fact we had two in a row makes me feel good about this one I because know. it's like here. Okay, we're. You know, it could happen. We're there. It could happen. Let's see. All right, everybody just, everybody just, everybody just calm down. All right, ready? Phoebus, Apom, Pansage, Mantike, Sean. No, Gar the Gar 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 It's so disappointing. Uh, oh, oh, the Mantike! Mantike again. Oh, and it's gonna be a critical hit. It is a critical hit. Oh, oh my gosh, that. how amazing is that? Okay, the Wochi. Okay, so let's check out the 189. Wow. wow so wow, many wow. critical hits, upending single pointers. Not that this was a single point pack to begin with. Uh, and if you're not going to be single point, you may as well go big. What is the man time going to land us? Five dollars forty-eight cents. We'll wow. round up to six. six, seven, eight times two is times sixteen. Two is sixteen for the blue Swede. So blue Swede moves up to seventeen points on the season, leaves last place far behind them, and is aiming instead for what looks like Big Steve. If I had to say, also that man tie card is really cool. I have not seen this one yet. Heal 120 damage from one of your bench Pokemon. That's fun. I suppose. All right, next up we have Chase. Chase! Who is the son of Doe. Little father, not father, mother-son competition happening here. Loves Absolutely. hippos, collects pins. Oh, this says do twice in December, December episode. We must have missed this one. So Chase, actually, we need to open two packs for. We should maybe double check that. Yeah. Before we get out there. Let's see. Um, that is going to be Electric Energy, Pumpkin Boost, Zubat will score, Gimmigul, Purloin, Earthworm, Manchal, Morpeko will score twice, the Apom, and the Toxtricity! There so we go! There we go. Okay, it's a sleepable card! Pretty solid, That's, I'm pretty sure just a one. Yeah, let's double check for safety, yeah, 60 cents on that one there, so... 
Chase gets five points for a uh, five point pack back to back. Five point pack back to back. Well done, Chase. Here we go. Next up, we've got Vicky. Oops. Who has got three points on the season thus far? All right, Vicky. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see here. Vicky's had some good packs in the past. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Season six, she went 19, 16, and 10. You know what? It feels like it could be a good day for it. So let's see. We got the Larry, the Yamas, the Surskit, the Whimsor, the Tinkaton. Maybe I was wrong. The Durant, Durant, oh, the Earth and Vessel. Vessel. There we points. go. The Mianfu. Uh, mining gets us we'll, nothing. We'll, yeah, the Mining will get us nothing. And the, the Brute Bonnet, Bonnet will oh. be two points. So four points total. That's four points total. Not so bad there for Vicky. There you go. Not the worst pack we've seen today by any stretch of the imagination. All right, next up we have got Caitlin. Caitlin! Here we go, who has got three points so far, loves reading and games, and working on writing her own book. Whoa! Oh man, actually, I have, I have a book I need to tell you about. Oh uh, wow, okay. Uh, that I dreamt. Oh man, lots of good dreams happening. Uh, I know, you recently dreamt a movie idea, and I recently dreamt a book idea. Man, I feel like I've been having much more like vivid dreams lately. I'm not sure what's changed in my life. Probably this game. This game, this is it. Yeah, this it is what's spurring This game, it's, it inspires dreams. It does, you know? it does. All right, what have we got for Caitlyn? Mindfu, Pharisee, Gaibel, Panpour, Rika, the Gorgas, Gorgas will, will score. Professor yeah. Sada, the Onyx, the Horsey, and the, the Zatu. Zatu. So just, just two, two points for Caitlyn. There we go, that's gonna be five on the season for Caitlyn. All right, and next up we've got Crafty Chick. Crafty Chick. Also at three points. So this is like, what what could have been, Caitlin? What this, could have been? This could have been it. This could have this been you. This, this is this is like one of those things where you just don't want to think about that. Forever. I know, right? Yeah, unless it works out <laughs> in your favor, in which case you're like, haha. Yeah, nice. unless this is only a two point pack and then Bosch, you're like, haha, wow. Bosch to do it. I got the new blade, the mill tank, the scream tail, the iron bundle, the ferrothorn, the cedra will not score, the Sini will not score. Oh, and oh, then the frost there last. it is. What okay. could have been indeed? Zero, Probably zero. like a one point. It's a one point card. A one point EX, but it is a sleeved card, which is more than we could say for Caitlyn. Wow. <laughs> wow, oh, wow, 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 wow. There we go. So, okay. more, what would you rather have? The sleeved card or the points? Hmm? Mm, that's yeah. a good question. I mean, I feel like I always like a good sleeved card. Because it's like Me when too. I was a kid, this is like what it really boils down to. We're assigning values to the rare cards, but like when I was a kid, if I pulled a hollow, it was like that was the win no matter what. A it's win, like, uh, you know, a hollow is a hollow. A hollow is a hollow. Yeah. So, good for you. Yes. Next up, do. Justin H. Two points. I'm going from the back. Okay, do it. The box. Do it. For Justin H here. In fact, I think I actually touched that pack by mistake at one point in time. So I, it was in the front and that was in the back. So who knows what can happen with it? This has been all over the place. This pack's been on a journey. Right. The spin though, we haven't yeah. seen many of those today. But no, we have score. not. The Tinka Tink, the Tandem House, the Dwebble, the Norma, the Norman, ah. Mondozo. Sorry. <laughs> the Luza, the Tinka Oh, oh no, oh, sorry so for close. a second. I thought we had the hit and the Volcanian. So that's just two points again for Justin H for a two point pack back to back. Two point pack back to back. Ba -ba -ba Boom. All right, let's see. We've only got two more contenders in today's episode. Can we get some sort of big one? We have got Bry Live and Bay Positive. All right. But first up is Bry Live. All right, let's do Bry Live. One of the oldest uh, power couples in the game. They've been here since the very beginning, the I very believe. Very beginning, yep. Yes, arch nemesis of Dylan Clark. They've got four points on the season so far. Let's see how Brylib can do. All right, we got the metal, metal energy, energy, so nothing not interesting happening there. We got the Wimpod, the Plusle, the Tandem Mouse, the Toad School, the Curse Duster, the Orb Beetle, the Cloth, the Pharaoh Seed will not do anything. The Pumpkin Boo won't do anything, and the, the Jam Pal. Oh, so man. single point packs are possible, people. They are possible, just not at the right time, apparently. Wow. I'll tell you what though, Ben. It turns out no one is going to have landed at the two. You're the, right. Not at that one last person. Place, not this is our last person. Yeah, and they've got um, three points. So uh, that opens the door for last place to be won. I think by a four points. Now? It could be a four point. Technically, there's a possibility if if somebody doesn't go full three packs. Yeah, there's, but there's I some think, like wiggle room there. I think there's only like one person who came in mid season, and I don't think they got a single point. Okay. No, because okay. it was Kyle. Oh, because it was Kyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Kyle, so yeah. no, so four points is the new low value right, for okay. last place. That's cool to think about moving forward. I think you're right. Anyway, up. Bay Positive is our last contender of the day. They've got three points right now, and they have a ghastly tattoo. 
Oh, it's ghastly. I can't even imagine what that would look like in tattoo form, but Bam. it sounds cool. It does. Whimsor, Dewblade, Surskit, Magby, Blindside, Crocolore, Evolution, the Tinka Tink. Oh, here we go, Last Black Magic. It's the gold roaring moon. We just keep getting rare. Literally, we've gone in order, I believe. Gold roaring moon. That is Awesome! Oh and my an gosh. Age of Slash. So and two scoring cards, okay, that's yeah. gonna be so a point. Number 262 on the set. Oh, and Let's for see. what it's worth, this Rogue Moon is dark, so it does get an extra point. Which makes me think maybe that other one we needed, we owed an extra point to as well. Could be, let's see, yeah, we'll make sure to we'll check a note on that one. Oh my gosh, the gold Rogue oh. Moon, last pack magic wins again. There we go. So actually, this one is not worth as much as the last one we got. What? This is $19.89 for this gold Rogue Moon. So, 20, 21 for dark, and... 22 for the Age of Slash, my goodness. So 25, well 20, yeah, 25 for the season, 22 on the pack. Either way, Gold Roaring Moon, that's epic. Incredible, incredible. That's, wow. That is worth- I'd love to end an episode. Framing and taking a picture of it and sending it to us. There's no yeah. doubt, yeah. Which, you, you know, we have requested that. and only one person has ever taken us up on that. I don't really understand why. Oh, it's like tons of people should be doing it. I know, right? Don't you have like physical pictures you print out and mail <laughs> to time? other people yeah. all the time? What's going on, guys? Of course. Oh man, what an exciting episode. What so many cool it. cards flying. Uh, guys, as ever, thank you so much for your support over here. This is a fully Patreon driven show. Yes. All of the revenue for the show does come from our Patreon. So if you would like to sign up to support in the future and have us open a pack for you, I promise we do send you these cards every single week that go out in the mail. Uh, you can do so at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Select any of the box breakers tiers. But otherwise, guys, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!